Hello, Professor Woods. My name is Alyssa Henriquez, and today I'm going to be going over two significant artists' work. Today I will be explaining the cultural significance of the work, and I will also break down the three elements of line, color, and light. The first piece we are going to take a look at is the entry of the Christ into Brussels. The artist of this painting is known as James Enzer. But before I start talking about the painting, I would like to discuss James Enzer's background. James Enzer was born on April 13, 1860. He died November 19, 1949. His place of birth was Ostend, Belgium. What I found fascinating about Enzer's work is how cynical and unconventional his work was. A lot of people rejected his work because of the dark meaning behind it. However, he didn't let the opinion of others stop him from his vision, although he did become a recluse. Many people thought he was dead. But one of his most notable paintings is the entry of the Christ into Brussels. A lot of people do not understand the meaning of this painting. However, Enza represents religion, politics, and art. The painting is based in Brussels during a Mardi Gras parade. Although the crowd at the parade is very questionable, and I can see why Enzer's work wasn't accepted at first. According to Getty.edu, Enzer's society is a mob threatening to trample the viewer, a crude, ugly, chaotic, dehumanized sea of masks, frauds, clowns, and characters, public, historical, and allegorical figures, along with the artists, family, and friends make up the crowd. The hallowed Christ at the center of the turbulence is in part a self-portrait, mostly ignored, a precarious, isolated visionary amidst the herd-like masses of modern society. Enzer's Christ functions as a political spokesman for the poor and oppressed, a humble leader of the true religion in opposition to the atheist social reformer Emile Lefeuer, shown in Bishop's garb holding a drum major's baton and leading on the eager, mindless crowd. This painting was rejected by the Les XX, the artist association which Enzer helped found. Many say Enzer hung this painting in his home or studio. This painting wasn't accepted until 1929. The painting was finally exhibited pub publicly. publicly. Getty.edu also states that Christ's entry was a forerunner of the 20th century expressionism. Enzer is brave for being an artist who didn't paint the normal art that many artists were painting during this time. If anything, he was a man before his time. But he did pave a way for artists who think differently and have their own vision. Yet, let's focus on the three important elements of this painting. When it comes to line, Getty.edu explains that Enzer used palette knives, spatulas, and both ends of his brush to put down patches of color with expressive freedom. When you take a deeper look into this painting, you can see in the background where it's green that Enzer's painting is very blurry. You can tell that he used the ends of a paintbrush in the green background. But what caught my eye is the quality of the mob. In the front of the painting, you can vividly see the masks, frauds, clowns, and caricatures. But once you look off into the middle and further, everything becomes blurry. In this painting, Enzer uses a variety of colors such as red, blue, gold, different shades of green, white, pink. Even though there's a use of different colors when it comes to lighting, this painting looks very dull. But we have to remember that the message behind this painting is very dark and cynical. Enzer was a dark man. Overall, I like this painting because Enzer is rebelling against what many people believed in during this time. I will say he is brave for being unapologetically him. Even though he was an underdog, he came out on top in the end. The next artist's work we are going to take a look at is 19th century painter Winslow Homer. Homer was born on February 24, 1836 in Boston, Massachusetts. He died September 29, 1910 in Protus Neck, Maine. According to Britannica.com, 
His works, particularly those on marine subjects, are among the most powerful and expressive of the 19th century American art. His mastery of sketching and watercolor lends to his oil paintings an invigorating spontaneity of direct observation from nature. His subjects, often deceptively simple on the surface, dealt in their most serious moments with the theme of human struggle with an indifferent universe. However, the painting that we are going to be looking at today is his painting, The Cotton Pick Pickers. Winslow painted this piece in 1876. Macama.org states that during the period 1874 through 76, Homer returned for visits to Petersburg, Virginia, where as a correspondent illustrator, he had spent time during the final siege of the Civil War. There he made studies for or and may have painted a series of watercolors and paintings of the life of rural African Americans. This painting is so This painting is so fascinating because during this time, many illustrators were portraying enslaved Black people as character characters. Many Black people were labeled as Uncle Tom's, Big Mama. Black children were illustrated as little animals. The facial features on many enslaved Black people were over-exaggerated. Many Black people were portrayed as cartoon characters with dark Black skin and big lips. Something very unrealistic. So to see that Winslow saw two African-American women working and decided to paint a very realistic painting of them is mind-blowing. Even though these girls are suffering from the effects of post-slavery, Winslow made them look very beautiful. But you can also see the pain and suffering in their eyes and facial expression. Winslow revealed how many rural Blacks felt during this time. Furthermore, when we look at the element of line, you can see that the lines are horizontal. The painting is in an open field with cotton, the cloudy sky and trees are all flowing horizontally. Everything comes together very nicely. This painting is very earthy to me. Winslow uses earth tone colors. I think it makes the painting look more realistic. The colors also blend in well with the girl's brown skin. I also love the lighting of this photo. It is very dull. To me, it represents sadness, seriousness, and poverty. This painting is very realistic, and Winslow shows the depressing life of poor Black folks. Lastly, Lacama.org explains that the group of paintings of African Americans that, the, that he produced in the 1870s, of which the cotton pickers is the most important, resonate with political meaning. Homer was the first American consistently to paint African Americans without the prevailing attitudes of condecision and sentimentality. The Cotton Pickers was exhibited in 1997. And that is all that I have for this presentation. I hope you enjoy it. Thank you.